What's good, KK? I'm back with another freaking video, man. And today is a story I've actually figured out. I've never told you. I thought I told you. Put back in. You already know. Hey, get off my. But yeah, this story talking is about um, when I almost fought this special nigga at work, and like <clears throat> I, I felt fucked up about it, but he did like cross the line. It's certain shit you just don't say from like a man to man perspective. And yeah, I'm gonna just tell it, like, walk out through the whole day and how the situation ended up um, coming about and shit. So, around like late 2020 in October, I'm actually trying to get back to that job because they had hella benefits. First of all, I was off all weekends. So, that's the first thing I really want back. And second, I was getting paid pretty good, even though I didn't like to go all the time. But it was easy work, you feel me? So, I wouldn't mind going back. And just, you know, doing what I do. You feel me? Uh, I need to probably call them and get in touch with uh, the manager if he's still up there. But that's not the point. Anyway, in 2020, I worked at the landscaping place. And, um, like, it was kind of divided because we did have some black people there. But we had, like, majority of Hispanics. And, you know, Hispanics stick, most Hispanics stick together with the race. And a lot of them spoke Spanish, so, like, if they didn't like something or they didn't want to say something in English, them niggas was talking in Spanish and probably talking shit for the most part. I ain't gonna lie. And a lot, it was a lot of drama at that job. A lot of the grown niggas used to act like straight bitches, in my opinion. And, nigga, I, I was barely 18 working there. So, I think I'm the youngest there. I'm 21 now, and I'm about to be 22 uh next month actually so yeah but also like it was just a bunch of shit and the the span nigga we i'm gonna just say his name because i mean what it's patched up now but back then nigga like even now i still got pride so like anyway uh the, the nigga's name was jared he was bad like he had a disability or whatever i forgot what exactly was wrong with him i just think he was talked funny and was like he couldn't comprehend certain words. I'm not really sure what was wrong with him. Because he wasn't disabled or anything. But, um, yeah. So, I don't know what the hell we were doing. I think we were blowing, like, this random ass spot. I don't fucking remember it. But all I, re all I do know is that, um, oh my god, drop his little ass. What the hell is he thinking? Get bow. But, um, I think we're just blowing the area clean or whatever. And it had to be at the end of the day because after this whole situation, we been, we went back to the yard. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to just say we're blowing. And I don't know if he was trying to tell me something or why he initially had got mad or whatever. But, nigga, usually, like, when you're working in the heat and shit, you typically, and you already don't like your job, you're typically not going to be in the best mood. You're just ready to go home at this point. And that was me. And plus, I used to always have my AirPod in. So, half the time, I wasn't... They probably thought I was ignoring their ass. But half the time, I probably couldn't even hear what the hell they were saying. Because anything that came out of these niggas' mouth, they were either talking shit about one another. Or they were talking about, like, stupid shit. Like, oh, um, you know, like... Um, for example, this one uh, old nigga I used to work with. He used to stay talking about every bitch that walked past the bar or that we drove past when we were on our way to, like, the yard and shit. He was always talking about, like, either fucking one of them or, like, just fucking out of that. Like, he wasn't even like that for real. Like, I think the nigga was cheating on his, like, baby mama or something. But I don't even know. He was cheating on his wife for sure. He had a side bitch in, like, Arizona or Cali or something. He was always talking about that shit. And any bitch, it, it couldn't be a girl walking past and he wasn't going to say something sexual about them. He wouldn't say it directly to them, but he would say something to one of us. But anyway, I'm going to just say that we were probably blowing, like, the street. Because the street did used to get, like, um, pretty dirty or dusty, depending on the day and the weather. And, um, yeah, dude, like, was yelling at me. And I didn't even notice that this nigga was yelling at me. And then I turned my blower off to kind of, like, see what the nigga was saying. And I think he still has his blow on, and he was just like, yeah, I'm like, who is this bad nigga think he's talking to? 
So I start yelling back, I'm like, nigga, who the fuck are you talking to? Like, you're not even that good of a worker. What the fuck are you talking to me for? Why are you on my dick? But anyway, shit escalated, and this nigga called me something that I, I hate this word. Like, if you call me this nigga, there's gonna be a problem. I ain't trying to other ten nigga, you back in some type of treatment, bro. This nigga called me a bitch, and I'm like, I really had to sit back in the moment and really think about like, does this nigga know what he just fucking started? <laughs> like, does this nigga, this nigga have the audacity? To call me a bitch. I'll show you who the bitch. So I'm like, nigga, if I'm such a bitch, come over here and show me I'm a bitch. And he just kept talking out of that. So I'm like, yeah, that's what I thought, nigga. Because one thing about being a lot of niggas that I've learned at a young age, like, I think I learned this maybe when I was 12 or 13. Niggas out here do not be on shit, bro. Shit like that, that you say to certain people. You can't say in other places, bro. There's gonna be an issue. And a lot of these Las Vegas niggas, the people that is born out here, don't understand. Like, you cannot say certain shit and expect nothing to happen to you. So, he called me that. And I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, you know what? If I beat this nigga ass, I'm gonna lose my job. Cause I think it's like a law. I don't know if it's a law, but I could definitely get charged for it. Like, putting my hands on a special person. Like, special disability type of person. So, I was just like, I was pissed, but I'm like, you know, I'm going to just let my cousin handle this. Because I worked with my cousin at the time. And she didn't play that shit. So, I was like, you know what? When I get to the yard, I want you to have that same fucking energy, nigga. Because I'm going to tell my cousin. And you look out and beat your ass because you got a disability. I'll beat the fuck out of you, nigga. Or I said, I'm alone in line. And. I apologize for cussing, but I gotta like make it seem like it's in a moment so I can remember half of this damn story. Because it's been, what, four years since I worked there? I left in July of 2021. Like right after maybe, uh, I'm pretty sure it was right after uh, 4th of July, to be honest with y'all. But, um, yeah. Um,. So we get back to the yard. I actually like I I put my blower up because we gotta like put our shit up after I got the equipment done and then uh I walked to the car. Now, I didn't have a car like I had a car but it was actually I think this is the time when I was we were riding in my car but I just didn't have my license yet. So my cousin's like, Oh, what's wrong? Because she always like asking me about my day after the long ass day of work. She's like, Oh, what's wrong with you? I'm like, bro, fucking Jerry called me a bitch when we were blowing. He, and she was like, wait, who called you a bitch? And I'm like, Jerry, the special ed nigga. And she's like, oh, we got to handle this shit right now. Get out the car. So this nigga, and mind you, the special nigga, Jerry, this nigga is, um, he's like with the group of Mexicans. It was him, Nacho, and he had two brothers that worked there, too. But I don't think uh, the brother that was, like, the brother that everybody was cool with, uh, I forgot that nigga name, but he wasn't there that specific day. I don't know why. But, yeah, he was with Nacho. Uh, we used to call this nigga a tweaker. This other nigga that used to hang with Nacho a tweaker. Because, like, he was on some other type of fucking drugs. This nigga used to always come to work dumbass high, bro. He used to say the most dumbest shit. I hate this nigga. But, um... It was him, the tweaker, Jared, another Mexican nigga. I think he was older. I don't know. But, yeah. He was with him, and he was like, and uh, my cousin walks up to him. Mind you, my cousin's a, like a girl. She's like a stud. Like, she's gay. So, she walks up to him, and he's like, hey, my nigga. I don't know what the fuck happened when y'all was born, but you, you don't disrespect my family. You don't call my little cousin a bitch. Because if you disrespect him, you disrespect me. I don't like being disrespected. And the nigga, like, kind of was getting bitched by a whole female, even if she is gay or not. Like, that's still a girl, nigga. I could it be me. But my cousin was a W person for that. And, like, I never uh, had an issue with Bo again. And then he tried to, that's the crazy part. The, I think this was a Friday, or it, it was close to Friday. So the next day or the following week after the weekend, this nigga ended up apologizing. I'm like, nigga, I don't. I don't care about your sorry ass apologies, but yeah, that was the end of the story. 
And he was trying to be my friend after that shit. I don't fuck with that. But yeah, y'all hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to hit y'all with another video either this weekend or one of my off days. I'm going to catch y'all, kid gang. I'm out.